What's up guys? My name is Kamil. It's been half a year um, before I recorded the since I recorded anything, so <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Um, today I'm going to show you how to replace timing on the N42 engine. It is identical to N46 and it's very similar to N45. I jeśli chcecie oglądać to po polsku, to tutaj możecie kliknąć gdzieś. So we got the car jacked up. Uh, you could use smaller like 3 ton uh, jack stands. I used 12 tons because it's easier for me to record anything for you that way. Uh, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to work on top of the engine but it's gonna be fine. Now we have to start taking everything apart. We are doing timing like I said before. Now, how do you know that it's time to do the timing? On N42 and N46 engines, it's usually around 150,000 kilometers or 90,000 miles. Sometimes it's, it can last a bit longer. Sometimes it will need replacing sooner. How do you know that it's time to uh, start thinking about replacing the timing? It's when you start the car and you hear, hear this like the sound of a uh, bike chain hitting on the plastic. It's like a, a very uh, quick sound. Uh, that's after a few seconds, it just calms down. This, this is an information for you that your chain is stretched, stretched enough that your tensioner is not able to stretch it enough and keep it stretched. So it's better to replace it sooner than later because if you won't do it, the chain will be stretched enough that it will skip timing and when you try to start it, it will probably break the plastic guides and fishing them out of the oil pan can be expensive. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my timing gear and put the first locking pin in the flywheel it's under the car, I'll try to show you that as good as possible. So this is the flywheel locking pin, this is tensioner, this is for the Vanos plates, um, exhaust camshaft and intake camshaft. Okay, unfortunately it's pretty oily down here. Right there, above the oil pan, we have a hole which we have to put the locking pin through to block the flywheel. Then we put 22 millimeter socket right here on the crank bolt and rotate the whole thing to align it. This is our timing, this is chain, guides, um, and this is the famous Valvetronic and its motor. Believe it or not, this engine has uh, almost 
This engine has over 300,000 kilometers. It's done like 310 in my blue E46. Um, and then I swapped it to this car and it did around 20 or 30,000 kilometers in this car. So it's, um, it's a lot, it's 330,000 kilometers. I don't know how many miles that is, like 200,000. Um, and it's in very good condition. Uh, I know these engines are famous for being unreliable, but as you can see, if you maintain it, change oil regularly and put good type of oil, they can do everything. The next thing we have to do is we put this like a rear intake and exhaust cams um, locking things on the engine then we can unbolt the vanoses, unbolt the crankshaft, take the whole timing assembly out and change it. Now we have to take those two solenoids out, unbolt this plug, this plug, and this plug, and unbolt this screw. Uh, the same one is here, and here we have a Torx, I think, T25 or something like this, uh, here and there. Here you can always check the date of the production of the whole thing. So now we have the timing taken out and I'm gonna put a new one next to it so we can compare them. We have new chain, new tensioner and both pieces of the timing, so the guides. What is very important is to compare old versus new, not to see if it's not even to see if it's a, the same if it's the same part, but it's also important. Uh, more important is to note it so that you notice if all the pieces are on the old part. You cannot allow yourself to have something missing. It can clog your uh, oil intake, and then you starve have all the starvation.
All right, now that we have all the timing uh, set, before we tighten uh, the chain and tension, tension the chain and tighten all the bolts, uh, we have to drop the oil from the engine and open the oil level sensor, take it off, uh, because that's our visual inspection of the balancing shafts. And we have to make sure they are aligned uh, correctly uh, by eye. There's no special tool. Uh, and otherwise, we're going to get the vibrations with the engine from the engine. Uh, so it's pretty important. Um, I'm going to do that now. So this has to be even. This and this. Ooh. I want to hit that again. Oh yeah. So it's not over. Um, I bolted the bottom, the crank bolt with 200 newton meters of torque and uh, camshaft ones uh, tw 20 newton meters and now I have to do tw 90 degrees two times so 90 and 90 per bolt uh, I think you could do 180 if you are able to but it's easier to do uh, 90 twice 90 And ninety. Now we take off the like dummy tensioner and put the the real tensioner, hydraulic one. At the moment we can take all the um, timing gear out, off uh, because the, everything, everything that is difficult is already done. Uh, what's left now is just change filter, uh, put everything back together, add new oil and we're done. Okay, uh, as you can see behind me, we are we have put the oil into the car. Um, I spared you all the nonsense of putting it back together. It's not fully assembled yet, but it's enough to start it and see if I fix it or not. It works. This is how you change the timing on N42 and N46 engines. Um, right now I'm waiting for the oil to level and then I'm gonna check it uh, to see if it's good level. Um, and that will be it. Um, if you are interested in me changing your timing, reach out to me on Instagram and we'll talk. So thank you for watching. See you next time, bye.